Boot Camp. This is the Overkill. I'm Chubbs. And I'm Tech. What are we doing today? Questions from the YouTube. This Chubbs hit some Diablo OG. Oh, yeah, sorry. Nugget Tree Diablo OG. Kdante217. Why would anyone pro Kansas be against legalization? Specifically, the Prop 19. Why would anybody who loves weed be against it being yeah. 100%? legal for anyone who's 21 and over to possess. What's your opinion on that? Well, okay, I can see the reasoning why some people are against Prop 19. Like, the, 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 there's, like, growers that are making contraband profit. They think that they're make, they're make, they can make more money with weed being illegal than, they, than it would be legal. Right. Which I don't think is true, but that's what, that's what they believe. And so if you believe that, economically, well, you know, it would make sense to vote well, against it. They them. have something that, that's, uh, what did they say, a bird in hands, but in two in the bush? Right. right now, their bird in hand is giant contraband profits. Exactly. So even if they may or may not make more later, yeah, they don't want to risk it. Yeah, because it's working so well. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Exactly. Um, so that's why a lot of growers, you know, are, are hesitant, especially up, up, up north. Yep. But a I lot, think some of them are seeing, seeing the light now. A few of them are seeing like, okay, you know what? This is, this is eventually what's going to happen. You know, whether we like it or not, this is the way the world's moving. I think the closer we get to November second, the more um, discussion. Uh, yeah. is being brought up, and it's really uh, giving people who used to be anti-Prop 19 um, different ways to think about it. It's yeah. just giving them different ideas and giving them different um, approaches. Like, oh, okay, wait a minute, I never thought about that before. Maybe this is a good thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's that's kind of the reason why I also think um, people are just, people don't like change. Yep, they, they really true. don't. You know, things, while it might not be ideal where a lot of you guys are at, here in Southern California and in a lot of the other medical marijuana states, things are going pretty well. I mean, a worst case scenario here is, is our current situation, and, and this is pretty damn good. Yeah. You know, the medical marijuana laws in California, while um, we're still trying to figure out how to enforce them correctly in certain counties and cities, um, it, we've still come a fucking far away since. Yeah, I mean, at least five years most ago, patients can get ago. medicine. Exactly. Some still can't, but most can now, which is great. So, but I do understand, you know, um, people who are not. In a, in a medical marijuana state, how it's, it's kind of hard to, to relate, but full legalization in California, just that that would just be the, the first step, and then we also you know, we try and go nationwide, the South, who knows when that'll happen, but... Long time, um, now, maybe. And there's always going to be proponents, like I said, people are creatures of habit, right now their habit is to keep it illegal, and, and it's working, it's working that way. Yeah, and I mean, the only other people that want it, you know, illegal are the, the prison unions, the, the, the yeah. and other union like teacher union groups? All the people that are making money teaching how bad marijuana is or yeah. making money off of incarcerated marijuana. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just follow the money. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Anyway, also, weedvote.com. Yeah, get out and vote. Get out and vote. I mean, on November 2nd, when, I mean, that's that's how we change it, though. Vote, vote, vote. That is how we change We're it. We're going to win so big. We have I'm the numbers. It right now. We, we have the numbers. Just count and vote. Food boot camp. I'm Jack. I'm Chubbs. Peace. Peace.